Okay, here's what we did in the buggy today. Here's my original gas tank. And the original tank had a really long tube in it. It's right here. So it can make it all the way, when I went in, it went all the way to the front. Because of the angle of the tank, this is actually higher than over here. Same problem can be the new tank. See, the new tank's a little different. There's actually a bump in it up here. It's not as flat. And I really, I would rather have this be 5 16 thing rather than quarter inch. But that's what I've got for now for the return line. And I had to weld this bung in today, right here. So I got an AN fittings in here now. It's going to run a 90. And then, just like the other tank, I also had to put a filling cap on it. Even though I pressure tested it, I still like putting the gas tank repair epoxy just in case. I did it in my last one, it lasted 20 years and the tank's no good. Uh, so I put the filler in. I filled in this one, the old filler. I'm gonna leave this 5 8 one, uh, I think it's by 5 8 tube this time. So I might actually use that for something. Like a vent or whatever. Here's the old ones where you can see I filled them in. They were welded right in and I had a small vent, which was enough. And you can see that vent was welded in. And I did the same here. I did have to smash this tank down some because it's different than the original. And I think there's gonna be some clearance issues. If you look, this tank over here tapers down quite a bit. This one here just goes flat across, and that's the front of my car. And it's going to be pretty close, even now. And then I spent the time, the past couple days, between that and working on my new bumper braces. You can see here. So these basically just use exhaust bolts. Uh, they're just... U bolts from exhaust. They gotta be replaced and put longer ones in, but for now. So I made up these. There's a heavy half circles in there. It fits the beam. And I did both sides. So you can see the other side how that looks. These serve a purpose for mounting the bumper can come on and off. Originally, they were right here. But that's not going to allow enough room for a radiator. So this is as far out as I can take it. It's just over 25 inches. These tabs hold the nose of the car up. So this also holds the nose in place. It used to have a crossbar in the front that went to the beam. See the holes, they went to the beam, they held the license plate and stuff. All that's gone now. I still gotta get these to where they can be supported. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run an ear over, an angled bracket, I don't really know, because I don't have a radiator yet. And right now the body is still supported on straps. So these straps hold the nose from sagging until I can at least put those ears on. I technically could drill another hole here and run one straight down, but then I'd have two holes and I don't really want to do that either because I'm not repainting this car right now. If down the road I want to do that, I could, but not now. So that doesn't seem like it's part of a Subaru conversion, but it is. And I'm thinking probably the Scirocco radiators they will have one hose underneath the beam, probably right here. And the other one will go between the beam. 
somehow. That's what I'm thinking. But we'll see. I still got to get the gas tank back in.